Brain Cafe Science was launched in October 2010 to develop a scientific temperament in children. An inquiry-led learning program for schools in India, Brain Cafe Science is designed to enable learning by doing through our unique experiential learning methodology, QORC. My dream is that in the country, at least 50 to 50 percent of the children अपने बचपन से ही इनोवेटिव हो क्वेश्चन पूछने लगे सवाल पूछे कि ये कैसे होता है ये कैमरा कैसे चलता है ये क्या होता है जब तक सवाल नहीं पूछेंगे तब तक हम लोग आगे नहीं बढ़ेंगे इनोवेटिव नहीं बनेंगे इनोवेशन नहीं आएगी और जब सवाल पूछने लगेंगे तब ही इस देश में कोई ढंग के साइंटिस्ट या इनोवेटर पैदा होंगे एंड ब्रेन कैफे we believe geniuses are made, not born. Have you ever wondered why India does not produce many Nobel Prize winning scientists? Traditional rote learning kills a child's creativity and lays undue emphasis on grades. As opposed to this, most developed nations today adopt an experience-led approach to education. Experiential learning like Brain Cafe, helps children connect their learning to real life and encourages them to innovate. In the end, it is only creativity that leads to path-breaking discoveries and inventions in the world. Today, Brain Cafe Science reaches out to more than 500 schools and over 200,000 students across the country. In 2011, Brain Cafe gave birth to a unique platform, the Brain Cafe Budding Scientist Contest, a national level hunt for the young inspiring innovators of tomorrow. Through the contest, children discover the wonders of science, explore its practical applications in the real world and are rewarded for their inspired ingenuity. My experiment name is Geothermal Power Plant. By this experiment, I can say that besides popular electricity generating sources like wind, solar, polar, etc., geothermal energy is cost effective and pollution free. It uh, do not emit any greenhouse gases. It is useful for future generations. I have made a project on botanical electricity generation. That is electricity generation from plants, uh, tribes living in the forests and jungles can use this to generate their own electricity through this plant. The name of my project is Cycle Bachi. This project is mainly for rural areas, for a common man. This is a dynamo whose shaft is in contact with the tyre and uh, the shaft is attached to the rubber wheel to allow smooth movement. So when the tyre rotates, the shaft will also rotate. So the dynamo is converting the mechanical energy into electrical energy and this electrical energy will be stored in this battery. All the Brain Cafe students made theme-based projects and competed at various levels, namely school, zonal and state level to reach the grand finale. Students competed and were evaluated as per the following four categories. Participants were evaluated based on the following evaluation criteria at each of the levels. Creativity, the ingenuity and innovative thinking displayed by the child, 40%. The type of material used, are they household and easily available, 20%. The Viva with Judges Articulation of Knowledge during Question-Answer Session with Judges 20% And finally, the Presentation Model, Way and Skill 20% The contest challenges hundreds of young minds from schools all over India to translate concepts from books to exciting practical applications the contest is the first of its kind and will pave the way for development of a scientific disposition among Indian students. In 2011, Brain Cafe Budding Scientist Contest saw the participation of 3,000 young minds from over 90 schools. 
by the second year in 2012. The contest received a tremendous response from all schools and students. The participation tripled with 9,040 students across India from 224 schools. The diversity of creativity showcased by the students was phenomenal. From generating electricity through waste and human footsteps to unique flying objects, young minds demonstrated their inventiveness. Students have won prizes like an educational trip to Japan, laptops, iPads and telescopes. Kids are known to be very innovative. It's only a question of how, it, how we nurture that and then bring them to be better and greater innovators. The Budding Scientist Contest has generated a huge buzz across the country, planned and executed on a huge scale as a platform for children to showcase their innovation and creative thinking. The contest and its winners were featured in prominent papers across the nation and also in a half-hour exclusive story on Z News. From this year onwards, we are also looking at profiling some of the projects on ZQ, India's first and only edutainment channel. The Budding Scientist Contest taps into the child's creativity and encourages imaginative paths to problem-solving thoughts. Students here learn skills that provide them with the ability to become Einsteins of tomorrow. I think, uh, I'm sure within the next 10 to 15 years, a few of these Brain Cafe children will be our scientists and we will all be celebrating, the whole country will be celebrating their achievements. We are all optimistic. These Children only will lead the future of this country. I am sure that uh, this kind of learning in the schools itself will pave the way for innovation in a larger scale. At Brain Cafe, we believe that in order to truly teach science, we must do science. The Brain Cafe Budding Scientist Contest, creating young Einsteins of tomorrow.